facts. When usually we speak about education, innovation, in India, we get reminded by one famous Bollywood movie. That movie has two characters. One is Rancho, other is Chatur. I hope you would have guessed what movie I'm talking about. We laughed a lot about Chatur's methods. And we also appreciated Rancho's approach. But unfortunately, we all are more Chatur's than Rancho. And this is unfortunately because we followed the education system which we inherited from British Raj. Some modifications were certainly made, but the fundamentals remained unchanged. And from a student perspective, if we have to define this education system, then we can just use one phrase, shut up and don't ask questions. And in spite of this, if you go ahead and ask an intelligent question to your parents or to your teachers, then they will immediately snap back saying, ah, talking big things. Tell us how much you scored in your exam. How many marks you got? So this shut up and don't ask questions. Unfortunately killed the creativity, the out of box thinking in our people. We produce generations based on rote learning to swallow and vomit mechanism. Our education system revolved around marks and grades. It hardly encouraged us to chase good ideas. But now we believe that this needs to change. We want our youngsters to think out of box. We want our youngsters to innovate. We want our youngsters to emerge as problem solvers. And since last five, six years, we are working on this approach. The primary reason why we believe in this is because now we believe that India is not just a country of 1.3 billion mouths which we have to feed, but more importantly, we are a country with 1.3 billion brains and 2.6 billion hands. We also believe that if we can connect the problems which world is facing to these brains and to these hands, then we will able to give solutions which are world class. So I have decided to focus only on two initiatives which might be of interest to you. I'm also sure that other initiatives are equally interesting. But I just want to give you a flavor of what unique things we are doing which is creating the tent, which is creating the tectonic shift which we are expecting in our education system. Now you must have heard word hackathon a lot. Hackathons happen in nukes and corner of the city or the country. But when we started working for it in 2015, 2016, hardly anyone was aware about the concept of hackathon. We personally went to more than 30, 35 government organizations, big organizations. ISRO, DRDO, Ministry of Railways, Road Transport, Drinking Water Sanitation, 
and we told them that please share with us your problems and we will use those problems to challenge students to offer innovative solutions. We also traveled across the country organizing workshops addressing students telling them about the concept of hackathon and how they can change the sector how they can influence the sector how they can innovate what kind of products they can make and the results were phenomenal we had more than 500 problems from 30 plus ministries and we saw participation of 40,000 plus students. Suddenly, Smart India Hackathon became world's biggest hackathon. It became the world's biggest open innovation model. And that gave us the confidence that if you challenge youngsters correctly, they can come up with miracles. They can come up with concepts which are very, very innovative out of the box. Now, this Smart India Hackathon has become a big brand. Last Smart India Hackathon, we had 40,000 plus teams participating. Each team had eight participants. And they were offering solutions to best of the institutions in this country. ISRO implementing more than 20 plus ideas. Ministry of Railways, Road Transport, working, implementing on some of these ideas. Our national security agencies are working on some of these ideas. Hologram based signaling system. See, implemented in Mohali. Now, the time is going to be very different, especially for youngsters, students who rely on proxies. Because we will have a system, face recognition system, which will directly mark you are present or absent. We are supporting hundreds such projects. And we believe that soon these projects will emerge into really successful startups. When we are talking about hackathon, we are not just trying to solve real big problems, but we are also using this concept to even design something like toys. I don't know how many of you are aware about toy scenario in this country. India is one of the biggest toy market in the world. Our toy market is $1.5 billion. And we can safely say more than 85% of our toys are imported. We are losing a lot of foreign exchange. But more importantly, you, are, you may not have thought about the impact which these toys create on our young kids. They are impressionable minds. These toys, based on Western values, different concepts, are not native to us. They are different. And we hardly have toys based on our 5,000 plus year of culture, our ethos, our civilization. So we went ahead and organized recently this Toycathon where we challenged our students, our school students, our college students to come up with innovative toys based on Indian ethos, Indian culture and the concepts again were very very phenomenal. See the toys which our students have developed. Toy Adhikar, based on our own constitution, chess, which India takes pride in inventing. Now these students went ahead and created a puzzle board. So board, board of that chess is also different. 
and on that you have to play chess. Very innovative. We have more than 100 such concepts with us. And this month, we are going to organize the round table of students with toy manufacturers. Six standard students, seven standard students are going to present these toy concepts to manufacturers so that these concepts can be commercialized. So what I want to show here to these two examples that if we push our youngsters to think differently, they can surprise us. Not only this, now government has started using hackathon as a diplomatic tool to engage with the youngsters from foreign countries. We organized two variations of India-Singapore hackathon. Then we had India-ASEAN hackathon. Isn't this fantastic? Isn't it something which we all should be proud of? So as I said, our youngsters are the future. This decade belongs to India. And I talk to them a lot. But many times, our youngsters tell us that, sir, we want to pursue our ideas. We want to do our startups. We want to pursue our entrepreneurship. But our parents are not allowing. My boyfriend is not in favor or my girlfriend is against it. They are telling us, why you want to get into this rigmarole of 48 hours per day work, destroying our personal life and work on ideas? So we said, oh, this is the problem. And we need to do something about it. So we came up with a very, very innovative program. We are calling it as a normal MBA. The name is MBA. That program is MBA in Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Venture Development. As I said, we are calling it as an MBA because everyone knows what MBA program is. But the structure is completely different. It's an incubator based program. The classroom component is only 30%. So what we are telling our youngsters who have such great ideas is come get admission into these programs as teams and work on your idea. Pursue entrepreneurship. Means what? You can tell your spouse or partner or your girlfriend or boyfriend that you are doing MBA. Your parents can tell your relatives that my son or my daughter is doing MBA. But under garb of that MBA, you are actually pursuing entrepreneurship. You are working on your startup. You are working on your idea. And you are given systematic training. So if you are successful, after two years, you emerge as an entrepreneur. If you have failed, you still have learned all the tricks in the trade. And you emerge as an entrepreneur. And majority of the companies now want people with entrepreneurial mindset. Employability of these people is, or these people are really very high. You know? So, currently we are piloting this program in 20 plus institutions and the results, what we are getting, the feedback, what we are getting from these institutions is that this program is phenomenal. And now we believe that even the conventional MBA program will get redesigned on this format. As I said, we are doing multiple initiatives. We are training 50,000 plus teachers and faculty members 
as innovation ambassadors. And when we are talking about innovation ambassadors, we are talking to them, we are training them on design thinking, critical thinking, how to manage IPR, how to handle an idea at incubation level, pre-incubation level, how to do startup. Because these are going to be our on-ground change agents. We have established more than 2,500 institutional innovation councils to handle institutions on innovation and entrepreneurship. We are doing multiple national challenges to crowdsource ideas and then fund them. So what we believe is that in the last five, six years, we have come up with a very, very comprehensive program for creating the ecosystem which will help nurture ideas, which will help nurture entrepreneurs. Because we believe that if we give right opportunity, right support and right guidance to our youngsters, then they will not only make this country Atmanirvar, but they will generate ideas which will have global impact. And then only we can say in real sense that we are going to emerge as Jagat Guru, which we all are dreaming of. I am here to seek your support. Let's work together. Let's innovate. And let's fulfill this dream. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it.